So we're going to play the final game in our Champions League group. And unfortunately for us, things have gotten very, very complicated. There's only been four games that you've missed since the last time we met. And we are not playing well whatsoever. The first of which was a 4-2 away defeat against Bologna. Lazaro with both goals for us, but they scored four in quick succession. And um, another defeat in the league. We did take revenge against Marcia, though, beating them 2-1 at home. The bad thing about this is that 87th minute goal by Benedetto means that if we finish level on points with Marcia, they go through on head-to-head -head record. We then drew one all at home against Napoli. Probably uh, an, an even enough game and even though a 91st minute uh, equaliser from us by Moyes came was what was needed, we deserved a point at least. Giglione with the own goal for them eight minutes in. And this is why everything is now complicated. We went away from home against FC Porto, completely dominated the match and got beat 2-1. Musa Marega with both goals for them in the first half. Lazaro with the goal for us in the 80th minute. And um, yeah... We got beat against Porto, and that means in our Champions League group, we currently sit in third place, needing a result against Manchester City away from home. I, I did not expect the uh, the table to look like this. The bad thing about this is as well, if FC Porto managed to beat Marseille, how was the first game? I can't quite remember. Did we, did we comfortably beat them? Oh, we'll beat them 6-0. That's fine. So we're getting Europa League football at the very least. But, um, yeah, Man City away from home. I'm not expecting anything. And the likelihood is we could be going in the Europa League, boys. But we have come back earlier than expected. We're going to play Spezia. Hoping for a bloody win in the league. I will absolutely be rejoiced. We haven't won since that Torino game. And um, it would be nice to get back to winning ways. And the reason I didn't want to come back for Udinese is because the winter breaks in between. Literally two months between the Man City and Udinese game. So... Spezia will be the side we face and in Serie A by the way we currently sit in fourth uh, dropping points left right and centre let's get back to winning ways against Spezia please Adam Hlozek in the games where we're playing poorly last season he would bail us out he has started eight games and got two goals in the league this season he is very close to being dropped permanently for Lazaro and in fact he's getting dropped for Lazaro right now he hasn't played too badly in his past eight games he's past five games but um I'm dropping him. He's dropped. Giglione is also coming out. We're going to play it. Um, no, we're not. Sardell is ineligible. Why? Has he played for the under-20s today? Never mind, Sam. Excellent man management. So, Sport Yellow in goal. Giglione, Enel, David Carmo and Liberato in the defence. Teg Seth, Melagioni, Alcaraz in the midfield. Lazaro, Almada and Moise Keane leading the line. Adam Plozek will just be an impact sub for today. I'm not going to lie. I don't recognise many faces from this Spezia side. Giro and Zoet being the only one who sticks to mind. We should beat these. But we're on a bad run of form. We're away from home. We've got out of form strikers. Let's see how it goes. First highlight of the game comes eight minutes in. Our long throw-in is cleared, as it always is. And Moro can bring it down this right-hand side for Spezzi. He's got two men on him. And we're just jockeying him all the way to the byline. That seems like a recipe for disaster. He whips it in. It was mag. <laughs> We can't get beat by Spezia. We can't. Oh, I didn't even mention the takeover, did I? Yeah, we're currently being taken over by, well, there's a competition between two consortiums, what I've been able to gather from the news feed. And one of the consortiums says they will replace the manager should they take over. So um, let's hope that they don't get the club. And that first half's gone absolutely fantastic. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. We've still got faith though. Um, when does Adam Hlozek come on? Probably soon. But we kick off for the second half and we do have a highlight straight from kickoff. Almada feeds the ball and Melagioni on this right-hand side. Can he whip it in and get past his man? He can. It's cleared, but it comes back out of him. He's got options in the box. He whips it in. Alcaraz is there. He's not offside. Carlos, is he, is he offside? Oh, please, referee. Oh, it's not even Alcaraz that's offside. It's Lazaro. I mean, I can't believe this. Pause it. I want to say this again. Please let me have it. Here is the replay. I want to say this. Mello Johnny whips it in. Lazaro is offside. Does he interfere with play at all? He does not. Absolutely not, football manager. Get lost. 50 minutes gone. We have a highlight. We need a goal. Please. Alcaraz coming down this left-hand side. He whips it in. Lazaro's there. His header is shocking. All right, we're taking Lazaro off. <laughs> I'm bringing on uh, Adam Hlozek. Where is he? I mean, you go through spells like this on Football Manager and you just hope that your big players 
will step up during these spells and be able to eke out wins for you. Adam Plozek has the opportunity to do that for us right now. And Zoet saves. It's going to be a corner for us. Tag Seth. He'll play it short to Thiago Almada. He's got all the time in the world. He whips it in. Alcaraz, please, man. Another corner for us. Played short once again. They've got a man on Almada this time. He whips it in anyway. It is cleared. The highlight from our corner continues with Liberato coming down this left-hand side. Moise Keane and him combining quite nicely. And giving the ball away, and Espezia counter-attack is surely on the cards. Moro gets past one, he can't get past two, so he plays it back to El Ghazi on this uh, right-hand side. He's being jockeyed well, but it's not enough, and he's not offside. The goal is given, Spezia two. Just, I want to go home. Algaraz is coming off, Melodroni's coming off. We'll break change in the midfield. Uh, we'll continue on. We're gonna, uh, I tried Almada as a complete forward, we're taking him back to a uh, false nine. And uh, with 20 minutes to go, we've gone very attacking. We've pushed the tempo. We've gone my going to go more direct. And um, that's that's going to be the game, lads. 2-0 to Spezia. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been absolutely fantastic. And there we have it. Three points dropped. Going into a crucial game against Manchester City in the Champions League. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. We need this winter break like yesterday. As you can see here, our uh, president of the club is continuing talks with regard to the takeover of the club. We've been under a transfer embargo now for a good couple of weeks. So I'm hoping that will be resolved relatively soon. Um, obviously, one of the consortiums wants to get rid of me. And based on recent performances, I'm not sure I blame him either. But I'm, I'm thinking we'll keep our job. You know, we're in the Champions League with Genoa. And even if we get knocked out of the group stage, we're still in the Europa League and competing for European competition in uh, European places in the league as well. So I'm hoping we've done enough to keep our job. I would love to drop half of these boys, to be quite honest with you. But unfortunately for us, we're just not quite at the point in the save where we can afford to be dropping our best players. So going with pretty much the same side as last time, but Hlozek comes in for Lazaro up top and um, Man City. I'm just I'm just delighted to be here. First highlight of the game. Five minutes in. Thiago Almada picks up the ball and gets a clear. Adam Plozek. I've had a word with him before today's game. So hopefully we can see an improved performance from him. I mean, don't shoot from that, that, that position, do you? Throw in for us. Giglione and Melagioni combine. The balls whipped in. Alcaraz to Moise Keane. He is not offside. We go 1-0 up 10 minutes in against Manchester City. Just blow the full-time whistle now, ref. He didn't blow. 15 minutes in. We have ourselves another highlight. It's a Manchester City attack this time. Benjamin Mendy bringing the ball down this left-hand side. Combining with Kia DB. Sterling. Shots blocked. Back up to De Bruyne. Sterling again. Somebody please. And we do uh, survive for now. If results stay as they are, we are finishing top of the group. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in the Marseille-Porto game. I'm assuming Porto are winning. It's Moise Keane comes down the left-hand side and is tackled by Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, Man City go out as things stand. Now, that would be a turn up for the books. But still an hour to go in this game. And with the way we've been playing, I'm not. I'm still not confident. The good news is, if we draw this game one all, we drew the first game one all, our head-to-head -head record would be identical. And then, does it go to goals? Did, goal, oh, my God, NL. Oh, my God, please don't go in. Does it then go to goal difference or goal scored? I'm not entirely sure. But we do manage to survive the rest of the first half. Manchester City nil, Genoa one. They're not really creating anything. I mean, I know they've just had that opportunity. But that came more from a defensive blunder than anything. So if we can... Oh, Mello Johnny picks up a knock. If we can remain composed and not give the ball away in stupid areas, um, we might be all right as Patrick Berg comes on in the centre of midfield for the injured Filippo Mello Johnny. Time is ticking. Oh, why did I start speaking? De Bruyne over the corner. It's headed over the top by Darwin. That is fine by me. Time has been ticking away in the second half. It's been a really quiet game. And uh, it's the kind of thing that I can really get behind. But we have another highlight with Benjamin Mendy with the throwing down this left-hand side. Sterling to De Bruyne. Don't let him shoot from there, man. It's Kevin De Bruyne. Ah, oh, 10 minutes to go. There's another highlight. They're coming thick and fast now. Man City must have really turned up the gears. But Alcaraz wins the ball in the midfield. And Man City are pushed really high up. We might be able to hit them on a little bit of a counter here as Berg picks it up to Almada. Get the second goal and I can start semi-relaxing. 
Nice interplay by us. Turns out to the left-hand side for Liberato. Moise Keane's in behind. He knocks it back for Almada. Thiago Almada. If we if we end up going out, it's on your head, son. Listen, lads. Need more changes. We've we've got a, a two-month break pretty much after this game. Can we just uh, relax a little bit? Adam Hlozek wins the ball with three minutes to go. He feeds it through to Moise Keane. Bury this. There it is, lads. We are through to the next round of the Champions League. We've made it difficult for ourselves having to get a result against Manchester City in the last game away from home. But the boys have turned up for this one. They haven't turned up for many recently, but this one they have done. And with a few seconds remaining, we do have a highlight, whether this is just the full-time whistle um, showing us uh, celebrating to the next round. I'm not sure. Tag Seth to Patrick Berg. Got uh, Giglioni on this right-hand side. It's through for Adam Hlozek. I would love for him to score sometime this calendar year. And there we have it, boys. Manchester City nil, Genoa 2. What happened in the other match? Are we going through second place or first place? We've actually gone and bloody won the group. <laughs> Marseille and Porto played out a nil all draw. And even with our, some awful performances in there, we've finished top. You can't complain with that. Let's have a look at the other Champions League groups, see how they fell. So we could get Lille, uh, obviously not Marseille. We could get Monch and Glad back. Come and get you. Can't get Juve. Come on. Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Real Madrid, or Celtic. So there's a couple of sides we need to avoid there. But there's definitely some sides who I wouldn't mind if we ended up coming up against. So obviously, we've got like a two month break before this Udinese game. I'm not going to come back to like this Roma Juve game. So we'll have the start of the January transfer window. We might have a takeover. We might be sacked. We might have loads of money. We might not. As things stand at the minute, we've got 12 million quid available to spend. I still want a goalkeeper. I still want a right back. I'm still interested in a centre back. I'm still interested in a striker. I'm still interested in a centre mid. I've got a lot of players who I would like to sign. I just need money. So hopefully, whoever does end up taking us over will be a sugar daddy. But anyway, lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.